Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Andrew Rooney here. I'm a full time drummer and drum teacher here in Auckland, New Zealand. Brett. Yep. Jermaine. Jermaine? Well, you, obviously. Yeah, well, you're here. If you can see me here. Then. Murray, present. See, even I do it. It's just it's how we do it. Today, we're doing a video that has been highly requested. <laughs> I'm probably saying that on every video at the moment. But this one was highly requested, and it is the God Smack drum battle and I'm gonna be really honest I am not familiar with Godsmack at all I think I've heard of the band I'm gonna do a little bit of research right now a little bit of SWAT just before we hit the video Godsmack is an American rock band from Lawrence Massachusetts mm. Massachusetts let's start that again Godsmack is an American rock band from Lawrence Massachusetts should not be difficult to say. Formed in 1995, the band is composed of founder, frontman, and songwriter Sully Erna. Now, he is one of the guys in this drum battle I saw when I brought up the video. So the singer is battling the drummer. Guitarist Tony Rombola, bassist Robbie Merrill, and drummer Shannon Larkin. I've heard Shannon Larkin is an absolute legend, so looking forward to this. Since its formation, Godsmack has released seven studio albums. Okay. Okay, so the band has released three consecutive number one albums. I sh oh, clearly, I should probably know about this band. Maybe I do know about the band and I just am not connecting the dots with the name. Not sure. Now, the next thing I want to do is to be able to know, I want to know who the singer and who the drummer is here. You know, actually, it's going to be quite fun to watch this without knowing who the singer and who the drummer is. Let's check it out. Oh, we got some stage show going on here. Wow. He's playing with his hands? Yeah. I don't know whether it's the band drummer playing hand percussion here or if it's the singer. This is some serious cool hand percussion. I just love, I love bongos. I love percussion. That There's just a certain cut that you get on bongos. It just sounds so good. I notice he's got congas here as well. I think these are congas down here. I can't quite see. But um, yeah, that, that was some proper bongo shred you know with some latin that <laughs> this is good i'm gonna back it up a little bit no i think it's got djembe down low bongos djembe I'm thinking this is the band drummer here. Yeah. yeah, must be. Has to be. That's an interesting drum. I don't know what that is. Shallow handle.
Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Well, to be completely honest, I, I, I in no way expected the singer to be battling the drummer on this video. The fact that one of them's got this level of hand percussion shred. Blowing my little mind here. I love this. As always, I can see why it got requested so much. both on kits. Bitch. <laughs> Let's back that up. Bing. <laughs> yeah, man. Bottom triplets. Okay, one's going to be simmering away while the other one's solo. This guy here. Now, this drummer who was playing the hand percussion at the start, who I'm guessing is the singer, hit me in the comments. I could obviously be wrong. I don't know the band. He's got, I don't know if he's got like a Latin background. I don't know what his <laughs> cultural heritage is or what his, it could just be, you know, your your flavor or your taste in music. But this guy has got, his sound palette he's reaching for here is a lot of that timbale type sound and he had the latin percussion as well and you know the other drummer we got playing kit but he's also reaching for some of those type of sounds we've got a real uh, latin influence here in the drum solo love latin music afro-cuban you know to be completely honest if i'm around the house you know just pottering around doing stuff likely to have some afro-cuban on that's um it's good stuff. I'm way off track. Let's get back into this. This is absolutely crazy. Did not expect this. Okay, hold on.
on the rims, dynamics, this solo has got everything. That was some like drum line level coordination, hold on. Call and response. Sounds familiar. Walk this way. What? Killer too, got a lead zip. Thought I heard some bottom triplets in there before. Sully, Erna, and Shannon Larkin. God's Mac. Okay. As per usual, the clips that people are requesting out there, you know, repetitively, a lot of people are requesting, you know, some the same clip for a reason. That was absolutely incredible. Now, I don't know what I was expecting God's Mac drum battle. I think I was thinking maybe the band had two drummers, you know, like, you know, relatively common for some groups especially in sort of that proggy uh, type of area to have two drummers um, I wasn't expecting it to be the singer in the band and then on top of that no offense to the singer or <laughs> any other uh, singer drummers out there I didn't expect it to be that good I mean that was seriously good both drummers were absolutely phenomenal yeah it's another one of these videos where I'm left with a lot of questions. I'd love to know the, I don't, are you allowed to even ask this anymore? I'd love to know the ethnic background of the uh, singer or the, the player who was playing the hand percussion. You know, there seemed to be like a big Latin influence there. You just that fiery percussion sort of approach to playing the drums, but also laying down some pocket. And, you know, when they were playing together, they played, you know, literally the same groove a lot of the time, you know, those Times I'm listening out for flaming. How how much are they in the pocket? Are they just flaming with each other or what? And it was tight. It was tight. I mean, one of them would play a groove, and you know, when the other one would join in, it would just sort of double it. There was just this doubling effect where it was locked in on the pocket, but it just sounded bigger. And obviously, it looks amazing, and they've got an incredible stage show. Obviously, with the those mobile drum risers uh, sliding around on the floor. And also makes me think of, you know, what makes a great drum solo? Uh, I'm not a great drum soloist at all. Uh, but, you know, 
you sort of want a little bit of a story, you want some entertainment, of course, especially at a big gig like this. And you know, we had this had everything, had the call and response playing together. You know, they they launched into those famous drum riffs. You know, into that walk this way, and then the Led Zepp um, drum riff as well, and uh, and we got the shred. Um, we got everything. We had the dynamics. They went right down, you know, really low when he was playing on the rims, and then you know, just playing on the drums in general when they went really low, and then it was the other person's turn to talk. You know, it's times like this you realize. A drum solo or solos in a band, it really is a conversation. And I mean, it was just a fantastic conversation. I'm really stunned at how good that was. I mean, no offense to Godsmack, they're obviously a great band. You just don't expect, you know, if I'm, if I was playing in a band and part of the deal was, oh, Hey, at the gig tomorrow, this uh, the singer's going to play a drum solo with you. He's got his own kit. I would be thinking, say what now? I, I you know, I would, <laughs> I would not be expecting much. I would, you know, I'd, I'd be expecting the time to be a bit shaky and just not tight or rehearsed or let's put it this way. I wouldn't expect the vocalist to sound like a drummer. This guy not only sounded like a drummer, he was an awesome drummer. I mean, absolutely killer. Ah, you guys did it again. Thank you so much for requesting that song. I am just so glad to finally get to that one. I cannot imagine what treats await me in the videos to come. Remember, hit me in the comments with any other suggestions you have of songs or drum clips that I need to check out. Pick up your 30 day free trial with Drumio, link in the description. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Until next time, ciao.